came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and the daughters were born to them. Then the sons of men goes, the, the sons of God saw the, the daughters of men and they were beautiful and they took wives for themselves of all of all whom they chose. Abana ba katonda neba lava aba wala ba bantu ngabalungi neba wasanga aba kazi mu mubona bebalonda. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with them forever, for the for for He is ah. Uh -uh. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for He He, he is indeed flesh. Yet His day shall be one hundred and twenty years. Mukama na yo garanti, omoyo gwange, tegu wakanenga na muntu emirembe ne mirembe, kubanga na ye we mubiri, na ye en nakuze ziriba emyaka chikumi muabiri. So there were giants, there were giants of the earth in those days and also afterward when the sons of God came to the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old men of renown. Mubiro Ebio, Waliwo Abanefuli, Munsi, Era Oluvanyuma, Abanaba Katonda, Beba Yingidanga, Eri Abawala Babantu, Nebaba Nebaba Zalida Abana, Bano, Beba Mani, Abaso Kedda, Abantu Abaiti Kirida. Actually, it was during this time in chapter six, that's where you see that God, uh, this, that sin started to increase. Uh, so, and God says, uh, in verse 3, let me just look, uh, jump out to verse and the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive with man, with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120 days. And 120 years. Agamba nti mukama na yo garanti omoyo gwange tegu wakanenga na muntu emirembe ne mirembe so kubanga na ye gwe mm. mubiri na ye enakuze ziriba emyaka 10 mwabiri So in this chapter see if you go to verses 9 you see that uh, there was this man the only man called Noah the one who pleased God Musule na mulunyiri yo romwenda ozula yo musajja omu aitibwa Noah eyasanyusanga nyo katonda You remember that when sin increased this what this what forced God to bring the flood that destroyed the people who lived then. Jukira nti achi bichi na wachai ngo bunge chaka kaka tonda okuleta mataba agamala wen sinebi to be na. And uh, because this is the first time in the Bible we see that God regrets why He had created man. Wana watulabira dala omulundi ogusoka mu Bible nga katonda yenyi se ruachi yali atonzo omuntu. Yet at first this idea came to him and said let's do man in our own image and after our own like likeness. Chokata mu lubereberye ekirozo kino kyo kutonda omuntu chajja jali na gamba nti katonda omuntu mu ngeri ya fe era ne mu kifana ni change. And he made him in his image. Era na mutonda mu kifana ni che. And after his own likeness. Nga amfana ni dala. God made man Almost like him. Because the Bible says in the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 8, he talks about how he made man almost to be like him. Now, here the Bible says he regrets why he had made man. Because sin came in, and people, people's hearts were corrupted. So the man who had been made in the image of God and after his own likeness had sinned and fallen short of, of, of God's glory. So in this time, this is the time of Noah. There was this Noah who was righteous. 
He walked in the presence of God. He pleased him. He tells him, now I'm going to destroy everyone. But I want to give you a, pro I want, I'm giving you a project. I want you to make a boat. And in that boat, he instructed him what to do. He gave him the measurement. Amen. And he ordered everything. Male and female. Noah was the first evangelist. He preached to everything, every living thing you can see. And it obeyed him. And they, they entered the boat. Male and female. Now listen. During that time, God not changed his mind of destroying every, every, every people on, on, the, on the earth. Indeed, he fulfilled it. But the Bible says, Noah and his family, they survived. They were the ruminants. The people who remained. Can you clap for God? Because there, there were some ruminants. It was a wicked, it was a wicked generation. Actually, God intended to sweep it away. You know, God is a God who would intend to do something and nobody will caution him. Because he made this world. Everything we happen to see is his idea. Amen? So he wanted, but because there was this, this, this few people, this family, he said, okay. I'll, I, I, I'll preserve this one. Listen to me, children of God. We are, not going, we are not all going to be destroyed. You and I are the ruminants. I said, you and I are the ruminants. And you clap like that. The generation was wicked. And he wanted to sweep it away. But still, there were those people, the ruminants. Listen to me, children of God. Some people are crying. Oh God, we are destroyed. We are finished. If anything happens, this is the wrath of God. It's the wrath of God. None of us is going to survive. Science, uh, 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 science have said this and this is going to happen. And this whole world, this is going to happen to it. Listen to me. There are some ruminants. You and I will not be destroyed. The, that, that generation, that era of Noah, people were wicked. Don't think that wickedness has started now. It started some time back. Amen? Whatever you hear happening wherever, it started some time back. God was annoyed far back, years back, million years back. I don't know how many years back. Amen. Amen. Now I'm here to just encourage you. There are people who say, in this era, in this generation of ours, are we really going to have children which may not have good children? If you have children, they are just for the world. Are we really going to have any? any? Listen to me. Your children and my children will serve God. Your children and my children will serve God. They will not serve other gods. Because in that era of Noah, there were just eight people he saved. 
You remember this man called Elijah. Elijah served God. And he was sure that he was righteous. And I also don't need, I don't doubt that. But as the time, a time came, they were looking for his life. Now when he happened to, see, to, to meet with God, he says all the prophets have been destroyed. There is no any that, is, uh, that has survived. It is only I that has survived. Do one thing. Kill me. Kill me. Because I'm the only one remaining. God looks at this young man and says, Elijah, you think you know me? You think you can finish me? A transcendent God, a big God, you think you know me very much? He said to him, okay, I'll, I'll kill you. Go down there, find a man, anoint him. He's going to replace you. And he said to him, I have very many I have many people, very many prophets that have not bowed before Baal. 7,000 of them. Those are the ruminants I'm talking about. And you are part of the 7,000 in the name of Jesus. I said, he told him, 7,000 have not bowed before Baal. You think you know me, and, and you shall surely die. <laughs> Amen. Come on, clap to our God. He's an amazing God. So some people are worried. Oh God. Who is going to survive? Who will surely live? How are we going to make it? Oh, everything is just upside down. I'm here to tell you. God will always preserve your life. God will always protect you. Even if things stand upside down. You are part of Noah's family. Amen. The Lord cannot finish us all. Do you know if you are not here, maybe if other saints were not there, the end of the world would have come already. But because you are here, he sits in heaven and says, I have my people, I have my children. Oh, I have Tucker. Oh, I have Mary. I have, I have, I have Maureen. I have Kato. Come on, clap for yourselves. God has you. You belong to God. Amen? Maybe that's why Kawempe is not destroyed. Maybe that's why Uganda is not destroyed. Come on, give the Lord a hand offering in the house. There are ruminants. I am a ruminant. And you as well. And you as well. That's why maybe your family is still preserved. It is very good. I, I, I love you people. Let's continue preaching the gospel. Let's share Jesus. Because if you save one soul and it comes to Jesus, that soul will become a ruminant in the family in which it came from. Maybe the Lord will look at that only person and will save that family that would maybe get, get destroyed and, and get wiped away from the world. Amen. Amina. So continue preaching the gospel. But I don't want you to get worried. Poverty. It, poverty is going to take us away. Poverty. Uganda, we are poor. Stop confessing. There are people God has. You qualify 
to get the blessings of God. You qualify. You are a candidate of God's blessings. So let's stop singing the same song the world is singing. Because Noah in his time, God saved him. I'm here to declare you are and I in our time. God will save us. God will save us. Say amen. Stop saying the children of Uganda. These children of Museven, they are if they are yours, they are yours. The Bible says, the sacred things belong to God. There are things hidden in secret. There are things kept in secret. Okay, let, 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 let me just bring it like this. Uh, let me open there. I don't want to quote what. Let me just quote it perfectly. Deuteronomy chapter 29, but don't cover the. Uh -huh. Verses 29. You are there. Let me read it. He says, The sacred things belong to the Lord, our Amen. God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that, you, that we may do all the words of this law. Mm -hmm. Come on, say amen. amen. Say amen louder. The sacred thing belongs to the Lord, our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children. So the children belong to who? Are they from seven for sure? Amen? If God has given you children, he has enough for them and enough for you. Listen to me. Your blessings are not determined by this government. We have a government in which we belong to. We belong to the heavenly government. And that government shall supply our needs. Listen to me. I said that government is the government that will supply all your needs. All your needs. All. Not some, but all. Amen. Amen. Even if you hear wars, as long as you don't participate, as long as you don't involve in any chaos, the Lord will always preserve you. Don't always be political if you're a politician. Don't even share. Why don't you get into the Bible and dig deep into the word of God? Amen? Because what we know as children of God are the things of the heavenly. So let us stop, let us stop concentrating on these things here. Because we don't belong here. Amen? Amina. If you want to be a good remnant, connect yourself to God. Is it Colossians where it says, for we are seated in the heavenly places with Christ? Yeah, it is Colossians chapter 3. Chapter 3. God has given me this. I did not write this. Can you write? Let, let, let's, let's run there. You see, just before I can go back to the room in Aunt Noah. Uh huh. Colossians chapter 3. And this could be the last. Uh -huh. Chapter 3, verses. Um, hmm. Let me see. If then you arise. Now listen. Now, chapter 3, verses 1. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on things on earth. For you died, 
For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Okay? Yeah, verses 1. Abakolosa now instead of singing the song the world is singing we shouldn't sing the same song we shouldn't view the world the way they do oh my god we are dead what shall we remain with how shall we survive in every generation, there are people the Lord preserves. But those he preserves are those who fear him, Abamusinza. who worship him. I'm here to let you know you cannot be destroyed by any other thing if you in Christ the Lord. The Bible says, He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And the Bible says, I'll say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in whom I'll trust. Come on, say amen. So if you dwell in the sacred place of the Most High, you shall always Always dwell. You shall always be in the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. When poverty is everywhere, he comes and uh, he, he will come and hide you under his shadow. Under his shadow. Come on, say amen. So we don't need to be like, oh God, we are dead. If a man knows generation, people perish, but the six were delivered. There were eight. Eight of them were spared. Listen. Also to us in our generation. We shall be counted among the eight in the ark. We shall be counted among the eight remaining in the ark. Please clap if you're doing so for the Lord. Do not cry like the rest. We are seated in the higher places with <laughs> our Christ Jesus. We are there together with Jesus. If you see yourself down here, when troubles come, they will put you down. But listen, if you're sure that you're on God's side, you're among those remaining in the ark. Even your children are with you in the ark. You will not perish because of the floods. The floods will not consume you. Family, your family will not die of floods. The floods of wars. The floods of things you hear about. The floods of immorality. We shall live. At times people prophesy things that in about this year the world shall become a place. The world shall become a place. Now if you're not firm in the Lord, you start fearing and say, oh God. There are people who regret why they were born. But why are you regretting? Yet you in the Lord Jesus. Why should I regret? I am going to stay in the ark with my children, with my friends, with my pastors. Some people are going to stay in the ark. How many want to be in the ark? I see you inside the ark. Because listen, you are among the remnants. I take pleasure in being part of the remnants. Clap yourself and say, I'm among 
the Gamba I will not perish. Amina. Amina. Jenjiga deo kati. Chimanyo tege de ulira. Abandu waba singa muli wa bera li kiride. Most people are so worried. Uzalu wabana no batu nulira. You produce children and look at them. Nula wane future. You even look at their future. Nula wanga temucha ina lugendo. And see having no journey to eat. Fetulino lugendo. We have a journey to take. Katuonda wafe. Our God loves us so much. He takes good care of us. Agenda tuwa, tagenda ku, taina chinducho na chataja kutuwa. There is nothing he won't give to us. Abalanga baka aba. As others are crying, katunda jaku sanyusa. The Lord will make you happy. Tuwele mwenembo guuri ya katunda. Let's be a generation that hears from the Lord. When you hear the Lord, every day has refuge for those who fear Him. He says He will not allow any trouble or any trial to come to me when I'm not able to stand it. But when all trials come, He will always pave a way for me. I proclaim that upon the day of the day. May the Lord when it comes this side, he makes a way for you on the left no side, side, and you dodge it. Let's not be discouraged. Every day the Lord serves his people. I don't want to die because of sorrow and worry. Please put away sorrow and worrying. Banange, banange. Sana nuli kumawuri le kubirango. Hebirango biyachi. All the time you just listening to only announcement, death announcements. Agatari kotaka. Agatari komfofo. Ya kutembwa. Mukama hebaziwe. Amina. Kati hadibi kuyamba chi. Nauti. Yonai. Yensi yunu nesi. Kakati msajja. Yera. Mifejo kunyumye virala. Mbwai ya kukutemu wongo. Nuga sasa nyao. Ochimanyinga ya kutembwa. Instead of thinking about other good things, you only talk about what you saw and watched on the news. Amina. Amina. Tandi kukutega channels, zikuzamu amani, vaku virango, vaku virango. Walio na ubole diyo, wemo tega ngoli kavantu abogere bintu. Kaka di gundi, era bwe chiti, era ba kuzeti choko lwani sa. Semani chiti bwe chiti, bagenda kuba gundi. America, ne Russia, biri bwe bit. No tula no gamba nae. Kati America ne Russia we bina aluana ne China. Kati ulufu haba sigali dekubanga abu ba amanyi nyo. Kati ulufu heba chita weba Uganda. Start tuning into channels that are going to encourage you in the Lord. Instead of searching for things that are just going to cause you trouble and sorrow. Amina. Amina. Nzebio nabivu hako. I left those things long time ago. Nzebio nabivu hako. I cannot be taken up by them. Sit down. Kum simanyi Russia. Ate ye wele da America. Simanyi China. Simanyi. If you not a bitch and call it up. I cannot be troubled over the worries of other nations. You will just die because of sorrow. Remember you part of the remnants. I said you part of the remnants. They will come to pass and you shall see them. They will happen when you just hear of them. They will pass and you only speak about them. Because our God is the God who loves us. Please stand. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Because he spared the ark. He's also sparing us today. Our God is sparing us. He is saving us. In the name of Jesus. If these words have worked out for you, I ask you to say a prayer in a few minutes. And you tell him, God, I thank you. All that I've heard is enough. Enough is enough to sorrow. I've feared for enough. But only this time, Lord, I can believe in. To work out with your word. I know that I'm part of the remnants now. Now start speaking to God. 
Speak to God. Oh God. Father King of Glory. We are the ruminants in this generation. Yes, things may happen wherever. Tragedy wars can happen wherever. But as you saved the family of Noah, and eight souls were saved in the boat, so will you save us, O God, in this dispense, in our dispensation? A dispensation of trouble in this era of, of, of many questions as poverty is everywhere even where we are now this nation is considered as uh, is considered as one of the poorest in the world but we who fear you shall not suffer the fate of this nation you put us here king of glory not to be like these people we, where you put us but you we came from heaven may you always manifest your power father king of glory yes this is the third world country but we are not third world we belong to the first family the first family in heaven we are yours oh God we belong to you father you have never forsaken us and the best thing you have done oh God you saved us you gave us your Holy Spirit and you have inscribed our names the palms of your hands and our names are written in the book of the Lamb we are born again we are here oh God temporarily but time is coming we shall come home you went back according to John 14 you said may our hearts not be troubled but let's believe God and also believe in you for you are going back to the Father to prepare a place places for us because in your Father's house there are many rooms for each one of us and you said in thy word after you have prepared that that mansion you shall come back for us and you shall take us home and we shall be with you I do not belong here I belong to heaven I belong to you Jesus I am a ruminant I, I am among the, those who have remained and I'm not a survivor but I am saved I am blessed I am protected I am secure in the name of Jesus Father King of Glory we are not survivors we are going to not survive poverty we are going to not survive diseases but we are saved from all circumstances all situations we are free we are delivered oh God and at this mountain of Zion there shall be people who will be saved who will be delivered and we are among us the people around your mountain that are saved that are born again thank you Jesus Father we pray our families are safe our children will not go immoral our children will not pervert they shall follow your name they shall follow your way our children will be born again oh God King of Glory the world will not take them yes many have gone crazy but ours will not be crazy I pray for the little ones the daughters and the sons in this house we commit them into your house the world will not eat them up the Bible says our adversary our enemy our enemy the devil as the lowering lion six and is looking for someone he may devour I pray in the name of Jesus he will not devour my family he will not devour our wives he will not devour our pastors therefore we command you 
You shall not devour our things. You shall not devour our money. You shall not devour our careers. In the name of Jesus, devour I command you. You shall not devour our future, our destinies. We have a future in God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands in your chest. Oh God. Close your eyes, I pray for you. Father, behold your sons and daughters. They're right here under this roof. These are the ruminants. These are the ruminants. They are not going to be destroyed. Yes, as the world turns upside down, you shall always find a place for your children. You shall always find a remedy for them. He who dwells the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, Lord. He is my refuge and fortress. My God, in whom I trust, you shall cover us with your favors, and under your wings shall we take refuge. Your shield will be our, your, your, your truth will be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that lies by day Father King of Glory we shall not be afraid of the pestilence that walks in the darkness nor of the destruction west in the noonday a thousand may all at our side. And 10,000 at our right hand. But it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have met the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, our dwelling place, no evil shall befall your people. No shall end plague come near their dwelling. For you shall give charge your angels to protect them in all their ways. They shall bear them up into your hand into their hands. Lest they dash their foot against a stone. Father, I pray they shall tread upon lions and upon the cobras. They shall tread upon the young lions. Upon the serpents. They shall trample underfoot. Father, because they have made the Lord, oh God, who is the Lord the most high their God. And they have set their love upon him. Therefore, you shall deliver your people. You shall set them on high. They shall call upon you and you shall answer them. You shall, oh God, you shall deliver them and honor them. Oh God, with long life shall you satisfy them and show them your salvation. With this I pray in the name of Jesus and the church said, Come on, clap your hands to Jesus Christ. The Lord has heard our prayers. He's going to hide us. He's going to be with us. We are so safe. We are so safe. Amen. Thank you for coming. If this is your first time to be with us, can you please put up your hand? Oh, there's a visitor there. Thank you for coming. Clap your hands to Jesus. Do you have a visitor? Amen. Thank you for coming. This is Kawempe Worship Center. Yes, Wakwagala. Yes, Wakwagala. Amen. There's a long tucker. Rise up your hand now. She's, got, she's coming to see you just shortly after she will give you the, the details of this church. We shall know you more and, she, uh, 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 and as you know us more. 
Reach out into your pockets right now. We want to give in the house of God. Is somebody happy? Are you happy because you're going to give in the house of God? Get out your best offering. Your best tithe. Oh God. Honor this time and get up on your feet. You know, standing up is also an offering. You may not have money, but you may have your feet, your legs to stand up for Jesus Christ. Can we please stand up for God? In the name of Jesus, we bless those who are giving, those who are paying their tithe, bless the works of their hands, bless their families. In the name of Jesus, those who are giving their offerings, may you increase them and multiply them, make them strong and wealthier. In the name of Jesus, amen. Come and give in the house. Pastor Robert Kasozi and Robina Kasozi. They are doing fine. They are doing so great. They love us. They watch us. They are together with us. They are part of the online church. Can you please clap for them and let them know they are, that you are here? Wow, Pastor. That, man. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. On Sunday, it's a worship, serv a, a, a worship service, so please, we're going to have two services. You need to be part of it. People, come on. Look, look here. Before you go, can you look here? Look here. 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 Can you clap the Lord for this? Because we have a new instrument in the church. That's not enough. Can you please appreciate the Lord has given us a new instrument? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh God. I don't know who did it, but God brought it. God used somebody and we have it here. Stretch your hand for the protection. Father, we protect this instrument. It will serve you. We shall use it to serve you. And whoever operates them, we, we bless them in Jesus' name. Until we meet again on Sunday, God bless you. Amen.